final series of today's matches. I'm the Eternal J, and I'll be taking you through the semi-final between Genuine and Gro... Uh, Gro? Wow. Between Genuine and Greyhound here. Two teams that have made their way into the semis by beating some pretty decent squads of their own, right? Greyhound beating PC and Genuine beating Rewound. But Greyhound very clearly were dominant. We saw them on the second stream a little bit earlier, and we saw how good they essentially looked. Going into this match, this could end up being a one-sided affair for them as Nuke is their map pick. They start off on CT side, and it will be genuine to lock out the first couple of frags. Jinx with two here on the A-side defensive. Edge turned around by Dexter as he turns back to one versus two. It's all up to Urka. The Asian Prince, man of the moment, the guy who could clutch this round for Greyhound. Coming around towards old hell, APOC. Trying to catch off Vision onto this guy and try to see if he can get the final frag for Genuine, but Urka in a very decent clutch situation will spot the man, but can't get the shoulder off. The shot up against him. We a kill coming in from Aker instead. A pop with two kills of his own right. Defensive held pretty clean and simple there from Genuine. And a first lead on the ball for the CT side. A big start for the CT forces. They need to get this one under their control again. Greyhound picked this map. They reigned supreme on it a little bit earlier today, and they have a very strong record on Nuke. Mirage is the second map as picked by Genuine. Excuse me, Train is picked by Genuine. Actually, wait, hold on. HLTV is giving me conflicting information. We'll find out in a short few what the actual map is, but regardless. Bomb plant should be allowed by Dexter. We'll catch off Jinx here on the A bomb site as the T side eco to sneak his way past the CT line. And get us a bomb plant out towards the main position. Four versus four with the Fomas now in play for Urka. Looking on towards one man rotating up via the vents area. He's gonna think better at that and rotate to join the main T side force out of secret. Three players coming up from there. And APOC on a backstab over towards the lobby position. Flashes in for Stat. Round this corner. Takes out Malta. And looks on for a bit more. We've got Sicko around this corner here towards the blue box. And they all get taken out. APOC them in with Skirter. And now it's all left to Dexter. Two kills for his name. On for a third. Almost lined up the fourth for Maker. But damage being done is the best they can do. No defuse kit though. Actually, they've hold on for enough time. Genuine. Too slow to the retake. And that will cost them. Of course, big round for the Greyhound squad. It'll take a little bit of early damage here in the rifles. Of course, forced by investment from Genuine. Going to try and bring these rifle rounds out early. Sicko's tagged up by his own teammate, though. Blind spray is coming in from the T side. A little bit miscoordinated here for Greyhound as they stand alone behind Red Box. Scouts up for a pop, spots out and takes out Sicko finally. But the damage done to Urka as well. Might still hold a decent face here for the T side or CT side line. So the five power advantage with those AKs, but Apox landing headshots again. Urka, next player to fall. Two kills for the scout. Five versus three in 60 seconds left to go on that clock. Taps in. Dexter finally takes out Skull. Finally deals with one man over on that genuine side. Still got four more to find. Forty seconds left as the T's continue to push forward. Molotovs in over to the double door stairs, but no one from CT's side will be there to be pushed away. 
already pushed further back of their own right and not holding the active angles, waiting carefully, patiently. Molds up, peeks up, spot stat, takes him down, looks like around the corner, second spray works up to the man advantage of, go of Greyhound. And the bomb can get planted, even though the CTs are rotating up quick and fast. Opening up more time towards the contamination. It's put our jinx double spray down. The bomb will get planted. And now it's off to APOC. Scout was doing well. Two kills to his name. Two more kills can be found on low HP players. But in the end, he can't get the shot off on Malta, who ends up with three kills and three points of health. Two on the board for Greyhound. They're going to be able to take the lead here against Genuine. Obviously, Greyhound are the favourites in this series. You would expect that. One of the favourites in the bracket as a whole. AKs dominate against the pistols of Jaduin. Not a lot of weaponry, not a lot of anything really to work with. USP is a standard for the full eco as Genuine's force buy has been shut down. Greyhound now looking for their third on the T side board. Dexter making his way up. Bomb plant will go down for the man. And Greyhound should be able. Rotate back in the standard off one positions, get ready for genuine wherever they want to end. Take the easy kills against the CT like could read from Dick Stacy. The USB comes back for Jinx. The sicko is the first one to fall for the T's, but that may be as far as they go. Urka trades back to get six hundred dollars, make up for the frags that this team has lost. And our last man standing is Jinx. Over the secret, no chance for this defuse. Greyhound. Gonna get away with four players alive and nothing recovered for Jinx. Actually, he might be able to sneak his way through the line. Nope, through Squeaky. He'll get taken out by Urker instead. And there you go. Third on the board for Greyhound. Now a buyer can come through for Genuine. Mars in for Skull. Apoc with the AUG. M4 for Maker. Follow-up for Stat and a follow-up for Mars for Jinx. So all five players gonna invest heavily into this round. Won't be the best buy. GHG do come out on top as a result of their better weaponry. AK 47s for the one shot headshots. Only one player with head care blast, so it's not going to make much of a difference in the grand scheme of things against Genuine. The T side players move in against Maker. Nades go well for the CTs, but they read on the first player's position and take him down. Then they read on to Maker's position. Apparently not for the first kill. We'll see for a second of Sicko. Great flashbang support in and Dexter alone with 13 points of health and a triple kill for Maker. As Arka finally just giant back three versus two situation. Smoke down towards the cross. We'll try and see if we can get a position in to pick up that bomb. Bullets will rain through. Flashbang in a pop. The squad is very into the box and then we spray it back by Malta. So he turns the evens once again and gets info onto Jinx. A little bit of tag damage, but not quite a kill. Meanwhile, Skull's moving in the back line, spotted and flicked onto Urka. The headshot landed perfectly by him. Two kills to his name. And now they know where Jinx is. They can rotate out to the B bomb site and be pretty confident in the fact that he won't be there. Forty seconds left on the clock. And Jinx considering the run down over to the B bomb site is over at the vents. Cubby corner. Instant access to the vent room, obviously, so this bomb does go down, they probably should be seeing the rotation coming through. And ask Arka clearing out the positions. Double door's gonna get opened up, bolts of in towards decontamination, expecting the man to be close, but Jinx is only just starting to rotate up here. And will offend from double doors. Will they be ready for this? Malta opened up. Spray comes through with the AK, and he gets himself a 2K to close out the round again for Greyhound. One bit blunder on the pistol, but ever since then, it has been all the Greyhound squad. Four to one on the team side line.
you're watching earlier in the match against PC419, you'll see, you'll know that Nuke went 61 of their own right, and it was a T-side start also for Greyhound. Just went so well for them. I'm not sure there's particularly T-side balance for them, but... But genuine, I know from their previous results, they tend to win a lot more CT rounds than they do T-side rounds. It's not a good sign in the early part of this half. They're down to Eco, looking to concede a 5-1 to one scoreline. Pistols will be out, upgrades in for Skull. We'll get down one of Dick Stacy. Jinx comes in with a secondary frag onto Malta back over in the lobby flank. Might find this rifle. He's got to push all the way around. Extend against Sekou. And actually, against that kill the two versus two. AK comes with extra spray. It's not quite good enough, but the CZ follow-up is better for the trade. Stat now, 1v1 against Urka. Lone towards hell. Looking for stat. Spots in, taps on towards his headshot angle. Can't quite get it, so giving up his position. Flashbang will try and keep stat at bay. Try and buy a bit of breathing room for Urka. He's not going to act on the blindness, though. Just push up, get control. Eventually find the spray down as Urka gets more patience out than stat does. Stat just peeking in, just not nearly knowing what's going on. No information to his name. Panicked for a moment and then gave up the frag as a result. Single orbs out for both sides. One for APOC, one for Sicko. Nice they didn't start from stat. It's Dexter and Sicko get tagged up pretty hard. Dexter more so than Sicko. Greyhound playing passively, expecting CT aggression to come to them. Very slow round from Greyhound as a result here. Trying to isolate a mistake and overextension from the genuine side. But now they have to force the issue towards Ramp. Good timing on the peek in. Mega had the flashbang out, so therefore no response kill can come in from him. He takes a lot of damage and forced to fall back. Now Greyhound, a little bit of map control to work with. One player inserting himself into the CT line that might be able to do some damage with it. Flashes in, Urka still looking out towards main, being spotted out by Stat, vice versa being out by Urka. Flashes in, will force him to fall back, Sicko Ava moves a little bit further forward and he's got a great angle to work with, AWP. Not ideal for this kind of face, but the PT-50 does come out successful, Greyhound now need to act on this opening kill, 20 seconds, they flash their way in towards heaven. Spray is good for Jinx to take down Dick Stacy, now looking in for the next round of multi-up for the rafters. Two kills to his name as the T's finally pour into the bomb site and will get this bomb plant down. But two versus three retake. HP advantage favor the CT side. And now the man of Vice shifts over the favor of Greyhound. APOC Maker. Last two players standing as the AWP tries to hope for a kill. Peeking out of the left hand side of the barrels. Pop flash back in and Urka evades it. As Dexter goes down. One versus two situation for Makers. He's still got Sicko and Urka to deal with. And Urka ends up with a 4K on 8 HP. Damage being done to Greyhound, but in the end, the rifles work up better for them than they did for Genuine. Sixth on the board for the T-side line. And it's Eco for Genuine, as you can tell. Eagles up for stat. Nades in, ready to receive against T-side. I think I've got off the uh, wall instead. Nades doing damage to Malta, 52 points of health. Smoke scrap and flash to go over, and Dexter slowly peeks in, trying to find a gap to work with in that smoke. We'll have to wrap over towards the other side of the red box in the end. 
That nade don't do any damage to Malta. Did it bounce back or forward? I can't quite tell from this angle. Either way, Genuine stacking their way into the hut. It's Malta to deal with one. Deagle's up, nades back against them. We'll do a lot of damage. Sprays in, and there you go. Dex Nace with two quick frags. Stat left alone with an AK. Dexter will rotate up to try and bracket them in. The bomb is always going to rotate away. I know where the last two cities are at. The bomb plant comes in for Greyhounds. We look for the 7 0 for the T side line. Well, Stout will take some damage away, taking one player out of the uh, round. We get another exit frag on Urka, and certainly we're able to keep the damage that the Genuine have been able to do over the course of the last few rounds. You didn't hear that. <laughs> I promise that's not on Windows update prompting me to uh, restart my computer. And just that goes down. AWP for Maker as he buys up the AK, of course, being saved. Gives him a little bit of investment that you can drop for a teammate. AUGs on two for Mars in for Skull. comes the genuine side once again up and out into a bomb side defensive ghg mostly holding back passive they have got a little bit of presence towards the outside one player on silent in particular for urka ak in his hands as dick stacy takes contact out towards the ramp room early face from makers AK-47 now. Any pressure in by the flashbangs coming in from the T side. Sick with the AWP to provide, to provide support for his two teammates making their way to the right-hand side of the ramp room. And the AWP in for APOC. Watching out from hell just in case. And meanwhile, Urka tapping his way on through towards the man over in secret. Stat so continues with the utility base alongside the Molotovs coming back in for the T side. 45 seconds left. Dexter. Slowly moving up towards that ramp position. The flashbands go over as Malta and Dick Stacy move in and out towards that A bomb site. APOC finally deals with the man over in the ramp room. As that comes in, sprays around that corner, gets sicker, looks for the second man that Malta trades it. Finally, a trade coming out from Greyhound. The Malta won't spread far enough to deny that bomb plant for Dick Stacy. Jinx coming in to catch off one towards the outside. We'll turn it to a two-man advantage for the genuine side. Now flashbangs make their way in. Passive position is going to be held by Greyhound. Sprays him with Dick Stacy. Good for only one kill, but only one kill he will find. So he's traded Malta goes falling. And three CTs remain alive for the CT side. A team ace as well for genuine. Pretty genuine round, I guess you could say. Rebuy will allow the AK to come through for Greyhound, obviously. Plenty of weapon. That's the AK and AWP set up from Genuine. Two AKs in particular saved from that last round for the CT side. Two AUGs as well in play. So headshots do count against Greyhound for at least three players of Genuine. Here comes the T side. 
And round the corner, Urk against the first. APOC turns it back around with the AWP and a four versus four. And Dick Stacy will be allowed to continue, but he jump faces and that allows APOC the information. He still swings out with a bait in from his teammate. Good recovery there from Greyhound to get control of the hell area and make it dealt with out towards the ramp run push. Malta gets him. Two more players to find in the lobby position. And Malta will take first contact against him. Spray through, does damage to Jinx, but Jinx takes that kill back for the CT side. Three versus two. The teams have the bomb kind of siphoned off between the two remaining CT players. Jinx gets one. Dexter trades it right back and goes straight in to the A bomb site. Actually, down towards B bomb site instead. The smoke site might be able to cover off the sound, so Jinx won't be able to know until the bomb plant comes in and he checks the site. We'll hear that door open, though. Knows that that one's decontamination. And bomb plant will come through. Dick Stacy making his way around very, very slowly to this one. Jinx giving up his position over towards the ramp room. As Dick Stacy on the A-bomb site, what eventually isolate, gets off the 2k. And in the vent room is where Jinx will fall. 8-2, to two, Greyhound. So far looking good. So far looking extremely good once again. Greyhound move up and over, spray is in, stat with an opening kill, the Dexter and Malta with two quick responses back. Yeah, UMP actually close towards the T side line, they go right past him, two kills come back for him and APOC. Dick Stacey and Sicko, last two players left in the three versus two, they're going to be wary of their positional disadvantage. Bomb make his way onto the bomb site. they haven't checked the rafters though, haven't checked catwalk as of yet, and the M4 from Skull just waiting back passive and holding. Dick reveals himself. And gets dicked down by the M4. Sicko last man standing in control room. And Skull with a fantastic 180 flick straight to the head of the man. Dinks gets the spray. And gets the third for Genuine. And the Eco will have to come through from Greyhound. First time they've been forced down to it in a very long time, including this in the last series that they played earlier today. Genuine playing very, very uh, passive stances here against Greyhound. Suspecting they'll go for the outside control on the eco. That's exactly what they've done. But how far will they extend before they realize the AK is over on the forward position? It's Jinx close against Dexter. Spot sprays, takes him down, drops that ball. I don't think he has the information just yet. If he does, that might change the entire composition of the CT line. Meanwhile, the Tuesday made their way out towards hell, completely evading one. Oh, knife out for Urka. Of course, he'd go for this. He thought he was covered. A pop now being pressured in as the Deagles come up against the player back over at CT spawn. Skull will get one player down, and the AUG bursts on through, takes the AK out of play. And there's two rifles to work for Greyhound Gaming. Will they still continue to push forward? 35 seconds. Bomb dropped out over to the hut, so they have to commit to the A site. Uh, come on, Dick Stacy plays forward. Dick Stacy gets down Jinx. And Skull being suppressed, nades in against him. Low HP, 17 seconds, and he will get forced out. Sicker with a recovery play. Kill a piece for the remaining T side line, and Urka will get the bomb plant down. Leaving an order maker. Out in hut. Looking on to the bomb site, and Urka's got a nice nade in. He can put down Maker. going to take that straight to the face. And somehow, Greyhound have turned this eco into magic if they can take this victory. This would be massive for the T side. Maker has to make his way in eventually. He's not going to fuse kit. Double flash and nade. Definitely faced around that corner, Urka. PG50 only in his hand. As him and Sicko will start to exit, and they face together against him. Sicko goes down. 
And Maker trying to make a way onto the bomb site. Go for the ninja defuse. It's not going to happen. He's not got enough time for this. And Urka. Play sacrifice. Take the man down. And the bomb will go up. He will go up with it. But it's going to be a round for Greyhound. And that's the most important thing. Doesn't matter how many rifles they save. Because they've got one AUG and a round victory. All five players down to the CT side. But virtually no investment on the T side line. Greyhound with their extra rifles now look to bolster their current T side line. Down in towards ramp room, uncontested thus far by the CT side. They've got one player back at the bomb site in stat. Over in the vents, ready for rotations. Smokes up multiple, keep the CT suppressed. The bomb plot will come through for Dexter. Open for all toxic. Spray for Urka, takes out that, taps on taps towards the headshot of Skull. Easy shots being landed by him. And at this point, the CT is probably just best to save any Kevlar that they had. I mean, I don't think they had any, but the Scout probably will not get this retake. The Deagles and Suicide probably will not get this retake. Indeed, the Deagles get taken out, as did the Scout. And last man, Thaddeus, decontamination, three kills for Dexter. Ten on the board for Greyhound. Round 14 is a full buy for both sides. Genuine, lacking in utility. Aids in. Smoke's over. Make up. In the T-Sides, the rest of them great nade in from Jinx now to capitalize on two quick kills. Indeed, he does. Three kills found. Bomb being dropped. APOC cuts off Malta on the escape. And the last man standing is Urko. Well placed, timed well from Jinx. As he was the pivotal point of that defensive there for Genuine. Four will be on the CT board with a well-placed nade. Damage being done and all the kills falling in place for the CTs. Stat will catch off Urka lurking back over outside of hell. And turn four to the favour of Genuine. Full by coming in from the T side. It is the last round of the half for Greyhound. Nades in against them will again do a ton of damage. Smokes up. We'll get to the cross. Molotov back in for APOC. We'll land a leg shot onto Molotov. Can't quite take him down though. And he'll cross the secret successfully. CT's under full control. Drinks dropping down. Spots Molotov. Sprays and takes him out immediately. Is the five versus four. AK will get recovered. Want to work with as two kills go in favor of the CT line. Dick Stacy gets one back on stat. Me, Mostico gets traded, and Makers waiting back here on the B bomb side for any more T-side presence. But Greyhound have shifted, their, have shifted their focus back up towards the upper outside positions, and Jinx realizes this. Rotating up through secret, ready to get a backstab in against the T-side line. APOC going to get called out of their positions and have to adjust towards focusing on hell. Two-man advantage for Genuine. Greyhound, a lot of work to fight themselves out of this position. The flashbangs will allow the peak to come in for Dick Stacy. Ooh, actually not. He's not going to go around that corner. It's 30 seconds remain. Maker. 
first step, drops that bomb. Dick Stacey, last man standing in heaven. They know that he's there. We'll take down one player. 17 seconds to pick that bomb up, get it down on the A bomb site, and evade detection, evade the kill coming in for the CT side. It's not going to happen. 10 to 5 on the board. Greyhound, still a very, very good half from them. Double digits here on the T side. And again, you consider those stats from Genuine, how their general performance breaks down on this map in the past. An overwhelming number of rounds been won on CT side. Genuine just had their best half, essentially, in theory. Tactical timeout will come through as a result. They've got to figure out a way to change this here on CT side. Uh, on T side, excuse me. Because Greyhound with their CT side had the potential to run away with it. Pistol will be an important factor into getting this under control for Genuine. Diffuse and HE for Dexter. Flash smoke for APOC. Flash HE, oh, smoke. Well, smoke Molly for APOC. HE Molly for Stat. He goes out, Dick Stacy with two quick frags. Uh, nade in for Dexter as well. Maker gets one trade back, but Sicko's there for the response frag, and Stat is left alone. One versus four is the quick play out and over to the ramp room. Leaves Stat alone, bomb under full CT control. I'm also going to rotate in the backstab and make sure that the crossfire is set against this bomb. And Stat will get sweated in the meantime. Leave an 11th for Greyhound. So they have the control above Genuine. And Eco will be coming out from the T side line. Glock's in. Urka, uh, Dexter, two quick frags based around this whole main defense. We all get shut down pretty easily. Two kills and SMGs. Money flowing for the CT side. They stack up against that. Go a little bit too deep for their trouble. Great response. Utility coming in from Greyhound against Genuine. You put the smokes down towards the secret area. Aggression coming in from Urka towards Hot. Not ready for the T-side passiveness, which will be holding back and watching this position pretty intensively so far. Stacey, first man down. Aggression from Dexter. Will he be able to get the trade back? But Maker holds the control for the T-side line. Two for one overall. Now Malta rotates up to try and support his teammate here. They're not coming out of hot though. They're coming out of squeaky. And only one kill will go favor of Malta. Sicko with a scout. Makes his way up close and personal. Good headshot landed on Maker. And now a chance for Urka to swing out. Take the quick AK or SMG spray. Get an AK from the work with me. While Stack comes in with a kill of his own right on the AK. 50 seconds remaining. Nade in. Urka now knows exactly where he is. Bomb dropped on the site, not planted, not punched in just yet. And Urka's going to consider the round the corner facing. And Shadow will give him the advantage on Stat's part. And Urka gives up the round. Should have held that bomb control. Should have just waited for Stat to come to you. A rare misstep there from Greyhound. Not expecting that kind of round to come through from them, considering how well they've outplayed the genuine side.
AK Zingaleos back in for the genuine squad. Greyhound investing back with the M4s, the AUGs, the SMG stand up for Dick Stacy. Greyhound being as passive as ever, as are genuine. But only genuine was not prompt into the ramp position. Count spurts come back from Malta. He's his teammate all alone and isolated here, and Dick Stacy trying to aggress as a result. They come flashbangs over here. We'll fall back over to the ramp and go towards the big bomb site. It's genuine now. Play quick and fast. Three players here for the defensive of Greyhound. One's already rotated out to the control room across. Bring us Dick Stacy. Galil in play. A cap for Maker, and a backstab comes in. Dex is not ready for this. Neither is Dick Stacy. The bomb plant can come through for genuine. Five on three situation, favor to that T side. Damage being done to Skull, that's as far as it goes. Obviously, Greyhound was might consider the save right here. You can see this seventh, but hold on to your weapons because there's not a lot ready and available for the CT economy. Not getting a chance to build in these early few rounds of the half. So I'll take some weapons away though, I'll be this to pick up. Yeah, two frags found, three versus three. Be an eco for the two players that went down for Greyhound, but the SM, uh, sorry, uh, rifle saved by Greyhound will still be in play. One AUG, two M4s. Variation on the smokes towards secret will allow a bit of control to come in out close towards main. Seco will be having a little bit more open space to work with as well when it comes to getting these picks, but will he be able to get APOC down over the silo boost? Urka in first and first man down. One rifle taken away from Greyhound as the AUG from Sicko pushes around the backstab, takes out Skull. And meanwhile, Dick Stacy's gonna fall, as does Dexter. The two, now one versus four. Malta chimes back with the M4, but genuinely know what's up. They're gonna get up onto the B-bomb site and just get the plant. Not bother with Malta at all. Headshot will come through with Jinx. He'll get the kill. Two kills for his name. Now eight on the ball for Genuine. It was starting to mount to come back against Greyhound. Genuine going to use another tactical timeout here. Genuine called it and wonder why they did. They are in the driver's seat right now. I guess they've got a few more rounds to go before they take the lead above Greyhound. Obviously, want to keep their motivation high in the T side camp because they still have the odds stacked against them. They still have a lot of work to do. It's Orbs in, AKs up. Standard rifles in play. For Mars out for GHG, which might be a bit of a problem in the grand scale of things, but overall, realistically, 
Probably going to be not much of a difference compared to an M4 or an AUG. All about whether you can get the spray downs to get the headshots with it. T side controlling towards the main, pushing through the Molotov stack. Goes taking out one Molotov trades it, but instantly Makers trades it right back. As Exxon's last man standing up in the rafters gets damage on towards Skull and Makers, but the bomb plug will be allowed as genuine. These hits have been looking so confident. Greyhound gonna take a moment to think about how they're gonna try and deal with these because these executes absolutely pristine from genuine. Greyhound trying to look for exits, but in the end, most priority is to save the weapons that they have. AWP isolating and probably will end up getting taken out by a POC or somebody. Battle gets away instead, so there you go. Not bad from Genuine. Another eco coming through from Greyhound. The T side, ooh, missing some nades out here at Genuine, but they will be able to get the smoke stuff and out towards the secret cross. They will go. No one here to defend it either. Grey Greyhound have focused their entire force and efforts up to the A side defense and over towards the outside control. Not come up well for them. Sicko will make his way up with the AWP on the bomb site. Line up two and only take down one collateral. Will do damage the stat though. And that might open up a chance for Greyhound. Second all has got to get into position here for the B bomb site because Genuine have committed to it. He's all the way on the outside, ready for rotations in case. Might be a smart play, but so far nothing in the case that Genuine are going to go ahead and wrap back over to the A bomb site. And even if they did, also got the option open for Vance. Sixty seconds on the clock. AK will get picked up for Dexter. No something to work with now against the T side line. Uh, Forty-five seconds remaining before the hit needs to come through for genuine. AK for Dexter continue to face up and out towards the banana hall. Spot two players and line them both up out to the vents area. That's bomb being dropped and. Indeed, it will be a disaster for the T-side as the pistols do wrap up, do get the kills. All starting from a great orb pick of Sicko. A nice trait to come in later down the line. And all five falling for Genuine. 13 to 9. More technical pause will come through as well. Not sure what the reason is. No major ping issues. Maybe a disconnection or... Some sort of hardware problem, but either way, we can get back into it very, very quickly, hopefully. Well, what a round from Greyhound there. And with Dexter getting a little bit overly aggressive, checking all of his angles and finding that one gap that he could use to exploit against the T side. And yeah, small DC issue from Genuine, so we will hopefully get that sorted out very quickly and get it back into the matchup. On genuine. Stand a bit of an impasse right here. Stand at a uh, very crucial round for them. Of course, the investment should come through for this next one. But after that, things will be looking shaky for the money line. So a very, very important round for genuine to win. Same thing can be said for Greyhound, though. Could be looking at two in a row to get to map point on their map pick to dominate genuine. Finish that off the job.
This looks to sound like it's going to take a little bit of time here. I don't know what the issue is again for Genuine. I'm not really sure. I haven't been informed of anything over on my sources, so... Hope it's nothing serious. I think what we'll do is, because we're waiting for a little bit of time, is I'm going to throw up the music, because I've got no more content to talk about. So, um, uh... I'll throw up some music and we'll just wait until the boys get back, until the last man returns from Genuine and we can get straight into the next round. Potentially a very pivotal one for Genuine as well. So hold tight for a bit. Be back with our first map of the best of three in a short few. Well, that wasn't very long. <laughs> See, that's a cast of trick right there. If you throw to a break, just as you're in the middle of like a bit of a heated sort of and an, an lengthy sort of pause, then when you do, the pause will be resolved. And from then, everyone can continue to enjoy the match. So I did us all a favor right there. See, smart, smart decisions. But again, genuine with a buy up. Very limited utility base on the back of this round as well. So it's got to be a victory for the T side. Great Hamlet to continue their pressure, continue to keep Genuine away from the double digits. And again, this round right here could be the one thing that turns it over for Greyhound. The flashes in for the T still gonna make the way into the ramp room. One play here to the ramp itself, another holding back on the crossfire, and we'll be able to take the man down. Malta with a train and going back towards hell where he's got even more support to worry about here. He will be falling, but now sticking with the AWP ready to strike. Meanwhile, out towards Squeaky Maker's gonna get the likes of Dexter. Four versus two. A site is open for business. Damage done to Skull. Smokes and flashes in, make around this corner spot. Sicko bursts and sprays on through, but can't take him down. Meanwhile, stats on the back of his own. And Skull, watching the counter backstab from the TET side. They have no idea what's going on. Two kills come back. Oh my word. Greyhound have turned it around. Quick Orb, quick AK Urka on for the triple against Apox. So close, rounds the corner and gets the spray down to the headshot. Genuine, four versus two. And they still lost out to Greyhound. Two quick isolated 1v1s are found. That's one for the demo analysis. How did they lose that genuine? And look at this coming through for genuine. Is that an R8 revolver for staff? Can they get anything done? No. Bomb partner immediately taken out by Urko up here on the hot eco round for Genuine. And it will be all five staying alive for Greyhound. Triple kill for Urko especially. Posting some pretty mad numbers for the CT forces. And now map point for Greyhound. One more round for the CT to take control as the quick nades go out. Skull Hunter's going right down with the vent dive and he will be successful in that front. CTs will try and rotate away from Adjuster from it. Outside control established here by Sicko. Meanwhile, Skull's going to get down over to the double doors. I'm really in any position to try and counteract for it. The CTs. I'm going to contest too far out of outside. Molotovs will go in. The smoke's down towards the secret area. Will be successful. And Stat will continue to lead the charge. Soldiers waiting back, hoping for a CT to get caught off guard. 
Rotates up, great nade onto the C side line. Sicko missing out his first shot and his second, can't land it. And four players will successfully cross out towards the secret area. Rotations are incoming for the CT side. The skull gets spotted out by Dick Stacy, getting taken out for the first frag. Headshot is allowed back, and now it's a four versus four with the AWP Sicko next to respond. Tapping on, can't take him down. Dexter comes up with a trade frag, however, the bomb plant is allowed. He comes in over the decontamination, nade in against Maker. There's a three versus four situation. Taps on tap, stat getting closer and closer to the CT line. Meanwhile, Maker gets traded. And Stat and Apoc, the last two players standing. No flashback to support this peak from Stat. It's gonna go well, it's not gonna go well. Apoc, one versus three. The defuse can come through from Urka. All five seconds stuck. Apoc in no position to deny it. It's 16 to nine. Greyhound take the victory on their map pick a nuke. And it wasn't the most confident affair, certainly compared to